Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Valerie Ortiz. It seems like Felipe Toledo went from a relative unknown to a member of the world's most elite surfers in no time. The young Brazilian burst onto the international stage with a heroic win at the U.S. Open back in 2011, cementing a name for himself as an up-and-coming surf prodigy. Now the stage is set for his ascendance up the rankings as he surfs his way to his first world title. And we caught up with the aerial specialist to find out what makes this future champ the ultimate wave rider. Check this out. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. My name is Felipe Toledo. I'm from Brazil and I'm a pro surfer. The first time when I got in the surfboard uh, was with my dad. My dad was a professional surf and he just started to put me on a longboard. And after this, I just started like to love surfing, love to competing and just start, started my passion for the surf. Felipe Toledo is one of the best up and coming Brazilian surfers in the world. He's one of the top surfers in the world, but he's also a superstar in Brazil. Amazing surfer, he's only uh, 19 years old, youngest surfer on, on the ASP tour, and uh, he's, gonna be, he's gonna be a huge future world title threat. He has a big following, there's millions of girls that line up uh, at, the, at the contest to get his autograph and get pictures with him, and uh, he's sort of the, the heartthrob of, uh, of Brazil. When I did my first contest, I did pretty well. I was like six years old and uh, I was competing with the guys like was 10 years old, nine, and I got a second. And after this, I was like, oh my God, I just love it to do this. It's just it's my life. I'm gonna do it for the rest of my life. Felipe is exciting, really explosive, aerial surfer, fun to watch, like super, tons of energy. The surf changed my life um, right after I just started competing, started um, to traveling around the world with my family, you know, met a new people, a new like place, surfing on really good waves. It's my first time here in California, like pressing with the International Surfing Day. The International Surfing Day was founded 10 years ago, 2004. Surfing Magazine, I was working there at the time, and we wanted to create a day that basically celebrated the sport of surfing and encouraged people to clean their local beaches. The International Surfing Day um, in Brazil was not like here, big like here. You know, the guys here just love it. I'm just appreciating with the guys, like a lot of kids just starting surf, like first time surfing. The surfing here, it's a, like, a bit better. The, I think the brands from here supporting more the surfers. In Brazil, it's pretty hard to get these opportunities. The people here is more passionate by, by surfing to supporting these guys. If you want to be the world champion, you need to do it. So that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm doing, training for it. And I think the next year it's gonna be a big year for me.